What's up ladies, welcome back to my channel. Today for you, I'm bringing you a well-requested car organization video. I'm pretty pumped about this video, I'm not even gonna lie, because I love organizing my car. It literally irritates my husband how much I like to organize my car. I have everything in its place, all of my bags, diaper bags, everything organized. Now if you're not into that sort of thing, this video may not be for you because it's gonna be detailed and it's gonna be organized and this is not for everybody, but for all of my fellow organizing people, this is gonna sing to your soul and your spirit deep within. <laughs> I'm your girl, Lorna Marie, welcome to my channel if you're new. I do a lot of mommy and lifestyle videos. If you haven't done so already, subscribe and hit that little bell notification and give your girl a thumbs up. It really helps out my channel and I would so appreciate it. I'll be linking all of the products in the down bar below, including my new website. So if you want to see how I organize my car and maybe give you some tips and tricks for your car, then just keep watching. guys we're gonna start with I'm gonna show you I like to keep this empty in there and I keep this little hand sanitizer I keep all my extra stuff on the side in my kids seat so when I open the door so this is everything in the glove box we have our manual and I have this file system I'm gonna show you in a second but this is basically all the stuff that I like to have really accessible so I have in here this is all of my women products I have a face wipes just in case I need to remove my makeup on the way home. Then I have another sanitizer. You will be seeing these all over my car. Then I have some Listerine. I keep an extra cube in here, glasses, wipes in here. And then I also like to have a little bit of these. These are like the sugar-free lifesavers. Then we keep this little tool in here. So it's like one of those multi-use tools. It has scissors and all kinds of craziness on the inside so it literally has everything okay so I wanted to show you guys this little filing system that I have so this is the filing system that I use it's got my registration my insurance my license um, when I have an accident this is where I go I also have extra cash just in case for tolls whatever it is there's been a couple of times where I forgot my wallet, so I'm so glad that I have cash in here. Or sometimes the kids need cash for lunch or whatever it may be. It's so handy. I also list all of the kids. I saw this on one of those safety shows. You list the adults and then all the kids in the car. Just in case there's like an accident or something, they can know who exactly is in the car. And I know that sounds really sad to even say, but hey, it happens. Now this accident section has a pen and cards in it the cards have all of my information ready to go to just hand to somebody i also have a card that i fill out with their information because sometimes when you get in a car no all the times when you get in a car accident you're super flustered so when you have that card you know exactly what you need to do and i just go straight to this little accident area and i pull my cards out and all of that so this is the inside of my middle console so I have a system in my car and I use these baskets whenever we go out to eat. So these are little trays that we use and I'm gonna show you guys how the system works in my car. This is the moment I've been waiting to share with you guys. I'm super pumped to show you this. This is the system that we use to eat food in our car. And you know what, I'd like to say we don't eat in our car, but we do. We are at Chick-fil-A and no, this video is not sponsored, but hey, Chick-fil-A, if you're out there, let me know. <laughs> I use these trays and I line it with a napkin and I put all of their food inside. Now the trick is to not pass back any wrappers. That is the key to this whole thing and it really, really keeps your car clean. Now you still have crumbs, which is fine because I have a vacuum, but this is so awesome. And I put these little trays, food trays, on these little back seat trays that go over the kids. They don't have to hold it in their lap. They can actually have a space where they can grab their food and start eating it without it dumping on the floor. I cannot tell you guys how much this system has worked and I absolutely love it. You guys have to try it. And these little caddies are not that expensive from Amazon. I absolutely love them. After they're done eating, everybody passes up their trays, throws their little napkins in the trash, and then there's nothing else left back there. Then my son grabs this vacuum we got off of Amazon and he gives everything a quick vacuum and puts it back in the bag and puts it underneath my son's seat where it's stored. It's a perfect location to keep it out of the way because nobody steps there. This is the rest of the inside. 
I keep these, I keep three different kinds of wipes in here. I know that seems kind of crazy, but we have Lysol wipes. You never know when you need to wipe stuff down because there's germs everywhere. Just kidding. Things get gross. I have, no, I was going to say <laughs> wipes you wipe your butt with. <laughs> no, I have moist flushable wipes by Kirkland. Bam. And then we have antibacterial wipes, okay? So I keep three different types of wipes in here. Then on the side here, you'll see these two little baggies tucked in. I keep receipts and change in one. I just clean this out so they're empty. I keep those on the side and I keep them unzipped so I can easily, like when I'm in a drive-thru or something, I can just shove stuff in there. I keep this little flashlight on the side and then I have this bag, okay? So this bag houses everything that I could possibly need in my car. Got this bag from a thrift store years ago. It's by Trish McAvoy. I keep a mirror, some Tums, some Neosporin. I also do Band-Aids, and I also keep Orogel and some floss, some Q-tips, and then on the inside pocket, I really like how you open it up like a book and you can see the different pages and nothing is like stacked in top of each other. You can actually see things. So I keep some hair ties on a ring, and on the inside here, I have some nail glue, which is super good to have. I have a sewing kit, a lighter, some earbuds, and some more Tylenol. And then on this clear inside pocket here, I'm gonna just take everything out, but I have some more Tylenol packs, I have some Wiz, a lot of little perfume samples and lotion samples. I just stick these in here whenever I get them so I use them up and not waste them. But I have eyelash glue and a pencil sharpener. Okay, so on this other pocket, we have Shout To Go wipes. I also like to refill my purses from here, so if my purse is missing something, I can stick it in here. But I have nail files and a toothbrush, toothpaste. So now tucked on the side, I just have some of my kids' um, DVDs. I keep them in these little sleeves so they don't take up a lot of room. And then on the top here, I have more toothpicks. You guys know I love my toothpicks. And then this is a really good hack I wanted to show you guys. So this is... I got like a set of five or six of these from Walmart and I put all of our little doggy poop bags in here because that's what they're for, we have a dog. But also if you want to clean your car out, you can just pull one of these out. So I love this little hack. So keep this on the side. And then I have this little um, pencil holder. So in this little cup holder, I have a fan. A, I got this from Walmart by the way. And then I have a brush, um, lint roller. I have two pens, Tide stick more hand sanitizer, and a lip balm. So I keep that all right here so we can access it very easily. And I like to keep a few things in the kids' back door. Remember, mine's empty, and then we put all the stuff on their side. So I always like to keep SPF 30 on us. This is the organic kind. I love this, you guys. Definitely check it out, and the scents are all really nice. And then we keep um, bug spray. Um, I always like to have this because we're super active. And then I also do wet wipes because, you know, with four kids and babies, it gets crazy. And then um, my son has his little headphones. Okay, so each kid has one of these seat covers underneath. I even have them on the front seats to protect the seats. And as you can see, my daughter has one here too. She has this little mirror here where I can see her in the front seat. I like this one because it's super big. And then right here, I have this Rubbermaid little station. You kind of saw it. I just showed you um, how we do the food. But it's so cool because the tray folds up. Super easy. Even my little toddler can do it. And then inside of here, they have hand sanitizer, of course. Each kid has their own. They have a little space to put their drink. And then this, these are the plastic coffee cups that I showed you earlier that I got a set of from Walmart and they stick their trash in here. So they have their own little garbage can and it has a lid on it. So I really, really like that. There's my son's and then here is my daughter's. She has hers right here. I don't know if you guys can see that. But. So here's my son's seat in the very back. And if you can see, I have this little packing cube here. Now let me grab this. I don't have a lot of toys because I don't like heck of clutter in my car. So. I just put a couple of things in here and this is for like emergencies when we're sitting in the car and we absolutely have to have toys with us, that's what we bring. This is, everybody keeps asking me how I put my toys and all my stuff in my car. My baby stays in the car seat. 
This is how we basically put all of the bags. These, this is my system in my car. I like to house everything inside of bags so I can access things easy, but I can also leave things in the car. I don't have to bring every single bag. I don't like having one giant bag and lugging everything around. I can pick and choose what I want. So this is my diaper bag. I've shown you guys this in another video. If you guys wanna see what it is, I will be linking it in the down bar below and you can see what's inside and how I pack everything. So once I pull out the diaper bag, this is what this little basket looks like inside of my car. This basket always stays in here. Things come in and out, but the basket stays so we know how it looks. I give my kids a tour and they can see how everything's configured. And then I got this thing, which I like. This also has a tray, so when she turns around, she'll have a tray as well. But this is gonna house more stuff because nobody gets in on this side. So we also have hand sanitizer on her side. We have an umbrella. And I wanted to show you guys this. This is a really good trick. I don't need tissue here because we just do a little thing in tissue. We don't always need tissue. So what I like to do is I put rags inside of here. So sometimes paper towels, napkins don't work and you need a rag, especially with kids and you're spilling stuff. So I put these in here like tissue and I can continuously pull these out. When they get dirty, I bring them in the house, wash them, and then I throw them back inside. I like how it looks. It's very clean and neat. And then, so this bag right here is hanging on a hook and I like to keep everything elevated if possible. And this houses all of our sweaters. Everybody has a sweater, even the baby. So when we go to the beach or we're out and it starts getting cold, we can go get our jacket sweater bag. So I love that. This is something I got off of Amazon. Like I was saying, I really, really like this. And it hangs on the back of your chair. So in here, I have an extra roll of toilet paper, self-explanatory. And then I have utensils, I have Ziploc bags, I have snack size bags, and then I have garbage bags. I just like having these on me and we always need utensils. Somebody's like, I need a fork. And then we also have paper towels. On this side right here, I keep tape because I'm always returning stuff to Amazon and they charge you, you know how that goes. Okay, and then in here, this is my hair bag with everything that you need inside of it. So in this pocket here, this is my dog's pocket. I mean, I have my mommy hook. Mommy hooks are to hook everything to your stroller, so I just like to have this here. But I got this really cool thing off of Amazon, and you squirt the water in, and then they can drink the water. Isn't that cool? Okay, then we have his leash and all his stuff, so it's just super easy to grab. This top doesn't have a lid. I thought that'd be great for the dog stuff. And then in here, we have our first aid kit. And I'm just gonna give you guys a quick peek inside of basically any medication or anything you could possibly think of under the sun, I've thought about it. It's in here. Okay, so then on this side here, I like to keep a blanket. This blanket is awesome, you guys. Like, I absolutely love this one, and I love how it folds up. I have it hooked here on another one of those little hooks, so it stays off the ground and elevated. I really like that. And then right here, where that I got off of Amazon. No, excuse me. I think I got this one from Costco. I'm not sure, I'll link it if I can find it. But I like that it folds flat and it even has Velcro right here so I can just slide it in this little compartment. So I really like that. And then the last thing that I keep in here are shopping bags. So these ones pop up. I like that they're small and sleek and then they can go, they get zippered back into themselves. So I really like that. So I have five or six of those. And then I have another one of these, but um, it's in the garage holding other stuff, but there's usually two of these. I used to have the crates, but the crates got super bulky. I love how these are flat, and they also have these little straps so they can get really flat. And then, bam. So this is like a little secret compartment. I know everybody's car may not have this. You can also use a bin or whatever, but I like to store things in here that I don't need obviously all the time, but I feel like it's super important if you ever have an emergency on the freeway. I've actually been stopped on the freeway for like two hours and I couldn't get off because somebody had passed away and they we were basically stuck. We had no water, no food. And you know, with four kids and babies, you can't be having that. So I like to have certain things in here that I don't use all the time. So. Um, I have extra bottles of water. I feel like that's super important to always have in your car. This is a plastic tablecloth. I like to have this if you're at a picnic or the grass is wet or whatever, it's nice to have one of these. I have a little changing pad um, to change the baby back here, which is really nice because it's super flat so I can just pull this out and change her. And then um, I have these blankets. You guys, I freaking love these, okay? Let me show you one of these. This one's my daughter's. 
and we're always needing these. So, so it folds open, which I love how small it gets, but the best part about it is these little Velcro things, it straps to the stroller and the blanket won't fall on the floor. Another one for my other baby and then I have an extra baby wipes. I've had to borrow baby wipes in public, okay? I've even had to borrow a diaper, but don't tell anybody. Okay, then I have this guy here, extra hand sanitizer, baby powder, because I feel like that's good to have for emergencies. Um, if you, like, mi you're missing something out of your diaper bag. We have deodorant, mouthwash, and a toothbrush and toothpaste. So I like to keep those things in here. You guys, I hope you enjoyed my car organization video. I had so much fun doing it for you. If you guys haven't done so already, subscribe, hit that little bell notification so you're notified. Give your girl a thumbs up. And I have a question for you. What do you have in your car that I need in mine? Let me know in the comments below. Also, if you have any questions, video requests, let me know in the comments. Girl, I'm here for you. This is why I made this channel. I love doing this, and I've already made a couple of people that I really adore, and I love seeing their comments, so I can't wait to get to know you guys. And until next time, I'm always your girl, Lerner Marie.